Exploring Deep Sea Coral Communities of West Coast National Marine Sanctuaries. Off America's coasts, a diversity of natural and cultural treasures can be found, from the water's surface to the seafloor. To protect the most exceptional places, 14 marine protected areas have been set aside to be protected by NOAA's National Marine Sanctuary System. These sentinel sites are focal areas where we can assess vulnerability of marine species and ecosystems in a changing ocean. Five of these sanctuaries are located off the west coast. Olympic Coast, Greater Farallons, Cordell Bank, Monterey Bay, and Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary. Together, they protect over 15,000 square miles. Each of these sanctuaries is unique, but they are all connected by the California Current. The current upwells deep, cold, nutrient-rich water to the surface, helping to shape the habitats, diversity, and abundance of organisms in the California Current large marine ecosystem, one of the most productive ecosystems on Earth. Far below the water's surface is the vast and rarely explored deep sea. Every year, scientists discover new species and remarkable biological interactions in this hidden ecosystem. Using submersibles and remotely operated vehicles, researchers have studied submarine canyons, sea mounts, banks, rocky seafloor and ridges teeming with life, like deep sea corals, sponges, crabs, shrimp, fish, and a host of other animals. Recent exploration in Olympic Coast National Marine Sanctuary off the coast of Washington revealed the remarkable ways that deep sea corals and sponges create the habitats that other species depend upon. Expeditions in Greater Farallons National Marine Sanctuary near San Francisco have revealed a sponge heaven, a rocky habitat covered with sponges and sea fan corals, and a large black coral colony not previously known to live that far north. These slow-growing corals are estimated to be over 100 years old. Their slow growth makes them particularly vulnerable to human impacts. In Cordell Bank National Marine Sanctuary, rocky ridges emerge from soft sediments and support dazzling communities of hydrocorals and branching corals called gorgonians. Encompassing more than 6,000 square miles, Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary is the largest marine protected area on the west coast. Davidson Seamount, once an active underwater volcano that lies 4,000 feet below the ocean's surface, generates fast-moving currents that support at least 29 species of coral and a diversity of other creatures, including toadfish, salty lizardfish, and blob sculpin. Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary is another focal area for studying deep-sea communities. The rocky terrains of Anacapa, Santa Cruz, Santa Rosa, San Miguel, and Santa Barbara Islands provide far more living space in deep waters than they do above the surface. The complex ridges and seamounts support rare and endemic species of sea fan corals and other reef-building white corals like Lophelia, the most common deep water reef-building coral in the world which forms important habitat for fish. Corals need a specific set of environmental conditions to survive and prosper. Their skeletons are made of calcium carbonate and they thrive in waters with high concentrations of this mineral. Marine waters of the Northeast Pacific naturally have some of the lowest concentrations of calcium carbonate in the world, limiting the potential for reef growth. Ocean acidification is a threat to these sanctuary ecosystems. Atmospheric carbon dioxide is naturally absorbed by the ocean. However, excess input of this gas by humans burning fossil fuels such as coal and gas over the past several hundred years has caused additional changes in ocean chemistry, leading to an increase in acidity. Ocean acidification makes living in the ocean more challenging for many types of marine life because they need to work harder to do basic tasks such as reproducing and building their skeletons and shells. From the surface to the deep sea, sanctuaries along the west coast are excellent natural laboratories for scientists to understand the effects of ocean acidification. We need to carefully consider our behaviors, individually and as communities, as caretakers of the planet, and how the decisions we make today impact our precious ocean ecosystems, now and for our future generations. We will need to work together as global citizens and find ways to reduce our carbon emissions and invest in renewable energy sources to sustain our ocean, which is our planet's life support system. 
National marine sanctuaries on the West Coast and around the country are sentinel sites for understanding ecosystems and environmental change. Sanctuary staff work to protect these critical marine areas. Find out how you can get involved and protect these special places by visiting sanctuaries.noaa.gov.